muscle, couple, hustle, troubles. Your dog spark, we lie to war. You in the park, we front lines in the war. We done the chase, run the game. We in the shades while you scavenging for remains. In the jungle, mind, muscle, couple, hustle, keep the cubs out of trouble. Hustle with the tigers, take down buffaloes, muscle with the cheaters, man just cut the throats. We've seen it all, seen the core, seen the best come, and we've seen them fall. Don't f with snakes, don't f with cheaters, plus I'm colorblind, hate when I'm crossing zebras, some perch on rocks. Some circle hunts, either way done, different words on the nuts. The road is bait, so we roam and late. Eat everything, cause nothing goes to waste. In the jungle, mind, muscle, couple, hustle, keep the cubs out of trouble. In the jungle, mind, muscle, couple, hustles, keep the cubs out of troubles. In the jungle, mind, muscle. Couple, hustle, keep the cubs out of trouble. In the jungle, mind, muscle, couple, hustles, keep the cubs out of troubles. The road is fake. Well, uh, my name is Mr. Frank Dallas Ibuluku, the National PRO of Actors Guild of Nigeria. With me is the man that runs his, I call him mayor, Lagos State. Yes, he is Mr. Don Pedro Agavi, the chairman, Actors Guild of Nigeria, Lagos State. And he has one other title called Talk now, do chairman, because whatever <laughs> thing he says he's going to do, definitely he will deliver. So we are here to talk to our people because uh, quite a lot of projects are coming up. He has been able to achieve 60% within the period of within the period of six months. This young man has been three months. Three months. Hey, he has been able to achieve sixty percent of all he promised during his manifesto to the members. He has been able to achieve sixty percent, and that is why we keep churning out events. We just finished the Actors Week, and now we are embarking on this uh, drama series, the one they called. Uh, theater of Dreams, and after that we're going to one of the best universities for membership training. We're going to see most of our members. We're going to run training with uh, it's a, a partnership with uh, Pan African University. So after that we we'll go to our end. We we'll go for our end of the year uh, concert, yes. where okay. you see all the beautiful girls we have <laughs> around coming together to. Uh, Miss showcase Miss Nollywood and award to be given. I just finished receiving an award. They honored okay. me the last uh, actor's night. So uh -huh. quite a whole lot of things. Wow. And wow. I believe this, the reason why I can die for this, his administration is because all he promised, it's like an assurance. He's doing wow. them. Yeah. Two of you at the back. Come for one. Come. Come. What's the map? Map? Good. Are you in school? Are you in school? What school map? How do you call it? Are you in school? What school? I'm Rosalind. Good. This is your number one. We we'll call him Kapol. Kapol. I just want to use the general name. It's all of the game day. No, no, no. But we we'll call him ourselves. He's been tired. I'm tired. But that's why we Now, after Kapol, 
Now you mean the kids? She said on the command. She fuck off. Yeah, you get parole away, you say, no, go, say, no, go pay well. But for back, them go out. Now you have to drag her, drag, bring her for your capon. Then uh, she gonna pronounce, after worrying, you know, she gonna pronounce the punishment on her. Do that action. She is your number one. You people get parole away, say, no, no, go, because they're not caught, the other ladies caught two to go body at the point you have, or on a sneaker to go out. Now she be the hit person, or yes. You have to drag her. Now she engineer the going to her. But she gonna want all of her. And I'm gonna try one different on herself. Or Madam Tom, or whatever name you're gonna give her. Actually. Wow. So all this girl, they can still go that wrong. They don't they fear me. They can still go. Okay. No wala. Then they come. So this right. man is a great man. That's he has right. been able to reposition things. That should be about people. That should be about empowerment. And that should be about mentoring the coming yeah. generation. Yeah. Because indeed, we must train the next generation to replace us. Sure. If we do not train them, then we are in trouble. Sure. And this is what the world is experiencing today, even across Africa. Yeah. We are having leadership crisis because there is no training. Okay, so what we're seeing here today um, is a project he mentioned, Theatre of Dreams. Yeah. Um, it's a project for the upcoming ones. Yeah. You know. um, it's a project that viewers will see every week and they want to dream, sure. Sure. inspire them. What does it take to become sure. a superstar? Sure. The young people of today just think you just wake up and you get to start on no, it's a process. That's true. You've got to go through that process and that's what we're doing. Yeah. And there's a structure as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah it's true. true. So we're, true. we're putting Solid. all of those things in place and putting structures and yeah. systems yeah. in place yeah. so that there can be continuity, there can be you know uh, solid foundation yeah. as well. So yeah. we're truly yeah. excited to you know to speak to you. Uh, oh wow. wow. This, this is the umbrella body of all professional actors yeah. Yeah. in Lagos State. Yeah, yeah. And it's face of Nollywood. You know, yeah. everybody yeah. is excited to be here. No, and that's then, that's great. That's yeah. great. I mean we're more than excited to have you guys on on the on the show and we're on the working TV for channel. the people. So we're the most thing. for the people. Oh. That's a great thing. That's a great thing. Because it is synonymous with women. Gossip for us, not gossip. Gossip about anything. Choose your language, you don't give outside English people. Gossip. Two of you. Forget that thing when you talk. And they tell you, say, yeah, let me let's be a little talk. As you say, I just imagine how you come in and tell me about the thing. If they ask you now, they don't talk about what you see. You really see them. One of you talk to them. They'll be passing. Forget. I said, big party, let's say you can't talk and now, wait till your eyes see you. No, be honest, tell you so. If I tell you, I'm not going to tell you. I better not shout. Talk with your eyes. See. Forget that. See. You see that gate. Let me tell you. Just like, see that gate. 
One of the reasons I'm actually out here is just to reinvest my knowledge, what people might class as Western knowledge, just to reinvest that into the people, into the youths, passing the baton on um, for them to, to carry that um, knowledge that I sort of like that I place onto them that I've learned. But, um, and these transferable skills, I feel that a lot of people, a lot of young people my age, that's in London, um, that's from Nigeria or from Angola or from Ghana or from Cameroon or Kenya or South Africa, they need to go back and reinvest in the youth, do you know, um, empower the youth with the knowledge that they've gained. Do you know, I mean, I'm quite fortunate enough. I was born in London. Um, I came back to Nigeria when I was maybe one and I stayed here for six years. I lived in Inigo and then I returned back to London. So I mean, I'm quite fortunate um, to a lot, of, a lot of people here. They see me as being a fortunate one because I've got the, I mean, I can, I've got access to London. Do you know, anytime I can go back and forth, I've got that book. Do you know? Um, but I mean, with me being here, I, I think it's sort of like, they just respect that. Do you know? Um, just had a conversation with one of my boys yesterday that um, lives over here and, and they just respect that I have, made that transition and has come back back to reinvest do you know and I'm showing them look I am one of you guys true say I might be fortunate as to have accessibility to London but I'm one of you guys and I'm here to show you that so it's a good thing I just love it so I'm going to document my whole journey the transitions the people I meet um, I'm going to have that all in the camera and I just thought why not you know, to let other entrepreneurs in London know that, hey, you know what, you can actually reinvest in your own people. You know, you can make things work. That's what I'm doing right here. I've got the Africa X5. Where is it? I've got the Africa X5. Flies out here. And, you know, supported by um, the mayor of London. Got some businesses behind us supporting some media partners. And I'm just out here just trying to make things work. You know, um, youth empowerment, that's all it is. You know, so in Nigeria now, one of my tasks is to empower the youths, you know, to teach them. A lot of them, a lot of them are so savvy, so internet savvy. They use Photoshop, Illustrator, um, InDesign, all the Adobe suites, they know how to use it. You know, they're just creative, as creative as we are over there, you know. But um, creativity just doesn't do it. And sometimes they just have to know the type of skills that's needed to be able to, to take things where they have to take it or where they need to take it do you know sometimes there's no there's no structure that's what i've noticed in, in being in lagos i see myself as a key component in terms of um bringing some sort of organization organizational skills or teaching organizational skills to the youth and showing them the structure that i have come up um learning do you know and hopefully they can take that on board and create some sort of like structure and be able to start their own businesses Couple hustles, troubles, your dog spark, reliant war.